Hello children, we have already learned about different types of angles. Now we have to measure the angles. How can we measure an angle? So our next topic is measuring angles. The geometrical instrument used to measure an angle is the protractor. So you can see the protractor in your geometry box. Okay, so you have to, all of you have to take the protractor. Now the angle is measured in degrees. The unit of measurement is degree. And suppose if the angle measurement is a 45 degrees, so we can write in this way 45 and you have to put a small circle on the right hand side, right hand side up you have to put a small circle and we can read it as 45 degrees. Now the geometrical instrument used to measure an angle is the protractor. Now this protractor, the protractor is a semicircular in shape. And it has a curved edge. You can see the curved edge. Okay, the curved edge. This curved edge is divided into 180 equal parts. The curved edge is divided into 180 equal parts. And each part is called a degree. Each part is called a degree. Now, when you look at the protractor, you can see two scales. Okay, so in the protractor, there are two scales. So the one scale, the known as the outer scale. So the scale which is the outer part of the protractor, we can call it as the outer scale. And the scale which is in the inner part of the protractor, we can call it as the inner scale. Now this point is known as the center of the protractor. So in the protractor you can see the point here and it is known as the center of the protractor. And uh, this line is known as the, this line is known as the baseline or a zero line of the protractor. Baseline or a zero line of the protractor. So a protractor is a semicircular in shape. The curved edge is divided into 180 equal parts and the center of the protractor, so this point denotes the center of the protractor. This protractor has a two scales, so one is known as the outer scale and the other one is known as the inner scale. Now the outer scale starts at zero on the left and the values are increasing when you move to the right side. And here the values are marked in the clockwise direction. Okay. So you have to take the measurement in the clockwise direction if you are using the outer scale. And the inner scale 0 starts at 0 on the right. And the values are increasing when we move from right to left. So that is the movement is in the anti-clockwise direction. The movement is in the anti-clockwise direction. Now suppose if you want to measure an angle, how can we measure an angle using the protractor? So the first step, now here look at the angle is given. So we can name the angle, angle AOB. Suppose the name of the angle is angle AOB. We have to find out the measurement of that angle. So the first step, you have to place the protractor on the angle so that its center is exactly on the top of the vertex of the angle. The center of the protractor should coincide with the vertex of the given angle. Here what is the vertex? 0. Okay. So 0 is the vertex. So the center of the protractor should coincide with the vertex of the given angle. So that is the first step. And after that, the zero line of the protractor should coincide with one arm of the angle. So this is known as the zero line or the base line. So the base line should coincide with one arm of the one arm of the angle. The base line should coincide with one arm of the angle. Then the next step. You have to read off the degree mark on the protractor through which the other arm passes. So you have to look at the position of the other arm. So here you can see that the other arm touches. And before that you have to look at 
so the the zero of which is scale coincide with the arm of the angle the zero of which is scale here you can see that the inner scale zero the inner scale zero coincides with the, the arm of the angle and you have to start measuring the angle using the inner scale and you can see that the other arm passes through 50 therefore the angle measurement is 50 degree so angle aob equal to 50 degree or you can write as measure of angle aob is equal to 50 degree measure of angle aob equal to 50 degree now look at another angle is given so first step you have to keep the protractor on the angle so that the center of the protractor should coincide with the vertex of the given angle suppose we can name the angle as angle x o y so o is the vertex angle x o y therefore the first step is you have to keep the protractor on the angle so that the center of the protractor should coincide with the vertex of the given angle now we can see that the zero of which scale touches the arm of the angle so the this is the arm of the angle and the arm of the angle touches the zero of the inner scale so you have to start measuring the angle using the inner scale so you have to using the inner scale and when you use the inner scale you can see that the other arm passes through how much degree measurement we have to consider the, here it is a 30 31 32 33 34 35 so the other arm passes through 35 therefore we can say that the angle measurement is a 35 degree therefore angle x o y is equal to 35 degree the measure of angle x o y is equal to 35 degree here you can see that the baseline of the protractor coincides with the one arm of the angle and this arm touches the inner scale 0 so you have to start measuring the angle using the inner scale and the other arm passes through 35 therefore the degree measurement or the angle measurement is equal to 35 degree now another angle is given so you have to find out the measurement so the name of the angle is angle a b c here b is the vertex so angle a b c so b is the vertex so you have to keep the center of the protractor on the vertex of the angle and you can see that the one arm that is b c ray b c touches the baseline of the protractor baseline of the protractor and the inner scale zero coincides with the baseline so the inner scale zero coincides with the base of the angle or one arm of the angle so you have to use the inner scale in order to measure the angle so when you look at the inner scale you can see that the other arm passes through 70 71 72 therefore the angle measurement is equal to 72 degree the angle measurement angle abc measure of angle abc equal to 72 degree so we can write it as a measure of angle abc equal to 72 degree now next another angle is given so the name of the angle is angle m o n so what is the measure of this angle so you have to keep the protractor so that the center of the protractor should coincide with the vertex and you can see that the ray o n touches with the baseline and the zero inner scale zero touches the ray o n therefore you have to use the inner scale in order to measure the angle so you have to move it in the anti clockwise direction so when you move it in the anti clockwise direction the other arm passes through 90 therefore the measure of the angle is 90 degree now look at another angle is given so we have to find out the measure 
we can name the angle angle M O N. So first you have to take the protractor and keep the protractor on the angle so that you have you can take the protractor and you have to keep the protractor on the angle so that its center should coincide with the vertex of the given angle. So the center of the protractor coincides with the vertex of the given angle and you can see that the arm passes through one of the arm should pass through the baseline and the arm touches the zero of which scale the outer scale the zero of the outer scale so one arm of the angle one of the arms or a one arm of the angle touches the outer scale zero so you have to start measuring the angles using the outer scale so when you look at the outer scale the measurement goes in this way and you can see that the other arm touches at 120 so you have to look at the outer scale and the other arm touches at 120 therefore we can say that the angle measurement is a 120 degree therefore the measure of angle m o n is equal to 120 degree now next one more angle is given you have to measure so you have to first we have the angle then you have to keep the protractor in such a way that the center of the protractor should coincide with the vertex of the given angle and you can see that the outer scale 0 touches the arm one of the arms of the angle and you have to look at that you have to look at the measurement along the outer scale and you can see that the other arm passes through so what is this measure so you have to look at the outer scale 0 and you can see that the other arm passes through 50 therefore the angle measurement is equal to 50 degree so using the protractor you have to measure the angles given in your textbook the figures are given therefore the homework is exercise 5.4 question number 4 question number 5 question number 6 angles are given in your textbook take your protractor keep the protractor on the angle so that the center of the protractor should coincide with the vertex of the angle and you can see that you have to look into which scale you have to use the zero of which scale coincide with the one of the arms okay the zero of which scale coincide with the arm and you have to use that scale in order to measure the angle if the if the outer scale zero touches you have to look at the outer scale if the inner scale zero touches you have to look at the inner scale that's all for today's class thank you